going on YouTube? Curtis Seven here for the review of United versus Stoke. <sighs> I just feel relieved. <laughs> Honestly, I just feel like thank God that is over with. Because my word, we dominated from start to finish. I can't even remember seriously Stoke even threatening the hair throughout the whole game. Nah, not really. Maybe there's one or two chances throughout the 90 minutes, but my word, those final two minutes of the game, God help a brother. Seriously, my word. But anyway, lads, let's get to the review. Uh, start of the game, Rooney out, uh, which was a little bit of a shock. I know he went off with a little bit of a niggling injury against Hull, uh, but I thought he would have started this one, but he didn't. And Hal De Maria, on the other hand, I knew he wasn't going to start. I think we all did, so we'll prepare for that one. He had two massive outs, so um, to be fair, we had um, we had uh, Ander Herrera start, which was massive for us. So I thought when he started and James Wilson, I thought, good, you know, a bit of youth in the team, a bit of pace, you know, especially Herrera, he was fantastic against Hull. But anyways, lads, we played, um, and Stoke were really, really organised, and it really impressed me from the start, from the get-go. I just thought, it really took me by surprise. I was like, wow, you know, Sparky's really got them playing well here. You know, they're compact, they're running, they're playing for each other. And I thought to myself, I'm thinking to myself, this is not going to be easy. There's no way this game is going to be a cruise control like it was against Hull. I knew we had to score early. And at the start of the game, Van Persie had that chance. Well, it came from a mistake from uh, Begovic, who passed it straight to Van Persie. He should have played it again. First time touch straight to Wilson. It would have been 1 0 there and there. But I don't know what, what's right up with Van Persie. We all know his confidence is up and down. So he held on to it and he laid it off. To be fair to him, it was a beautiful pass to Ander Herrera. He came running through and he's just skied it into row Z at Old Trafford. I was like, oh no, Ander Herrera. That was our chance. Anyways, he made up for it a few minutes later, thanks to uh, a lovely pass from uh, Juan Mata, who was fantastic today. Uh, Juan Mata put in a pass, and Herrera with that cross with the left foot. And I tell you what, what seemed look like this run was from coming from the halfway line from Marouane Fellaini. Come running through like a steam train, just boom, 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 boom! Mate, you've seen it coming a mile away. And to be fair, all that momentum, he put it on target. And we went 1-0 ahead, get in. I was pumped. I was thinking, right, that is the best way to break down a defense. Because now Stoke have to go on the attack. They're not going to be as compact and we can break them again. Didn't turn out that way. It was good from us. We still, even though we got the goal, we are still um, pressing um, Stoke. But... Lads, we're pretty much in cruise control after that, and Stoke were too. Uh, but what, just before halftime, bit of craziness. Uh, Fellaini got kicked in the hip. I don't know why. But then it was grabbing his neck. I don't know if it was a bit of spasm. You know, I have no idea. Maybe, maybe he was just faking it. You know, holding his neck on the floor, lying down. And uh, to be fair to Bojan, he kept on playing as you should. Uh, mate, and he just dragged three, four defenders, especially Michael Carrick, got caught out. And uh, pulled it back from Zonzi, wide open space, and he just cracked it. He hit that, sh mate, that, this strike was perfect. Went past the Haya. To be fair, I don't think the Haya had any hope with this much room. But anyways, Stoke were level 1-1, one, one, you know, unfair in my opinion. I don't think they deserve to be on level whatsoever. And uh, to be fair, I think Louis Van Hal was not a happy man at halftime. I could see uh, after half time we came out, mate, we look, we were on fire. We were guns blazing, we were attacking every ball, and I thought, geez, these guys must have got a rollicking off Louis Van Hal at half time, definitely. And uh, and it showed after half time we came out, we had a few chances, but uh, there was a bit of few um, scuffles with Peters and Van Persie after half time and, and two seconds later after stamping on his leg, um, Peters gave away a free kick. And uh, anyways, one Mata had a free kick out on the uh, on the right wing and uh, curved it with an in swing. I had this beautiful free kick and uh, nobody got in the end of it. Maybe uh, it snuck into the back post, beat Begovic, and we we're up again. Took the lead and this time two one. Rojo was claiming it that he scored. He was pointing with his chest. That was me. It was me. And uh, looking at the replay, if 
Put it this way, this is how close it was. If the lad hadn't got a haircut yesterday, there's no chance he could be claiming it. But his hair was like that a little bit longer, maybe he could be claiming it. That's how close it was. To be fair, flip a coin, I don't know who got that goal. But anyways, 2-1 ahead, and again, cruise control. We made a few subs throughout the game, and uh, mate, I thought, yeah, easy win. Until Sparky made a few substitutions, bringing on Peter Crouch, bringing on... Um, Amartovic and I thought geez these Stoke are chucking everything at us now in the final few minutes of the game uh, I can't remember who crossed it for Stoke but they got the ball in and it came to Juf yes the ex United player got onto this ball with his head and I swear I thought it was a goal and De Gea just pushed it back out I was like oh my word what a save David De Gea just saved us and I thought that was it no I was wrong the ball came back twice as quick a few seconds later and Amatovic in the six yard box open shot. I thought, oh no, Ashley Young gets a blocking. I thought, you superstar, go straight to Juf. Juf again. And my word, Ashley Young clears it off the line by about, I reckon that much. If they had gone one inch over the line, it would have been a goal. Saved us. What a clearance from Ashley Young. Saves the day. We get away with it. Three points. <sighs> we got away with murder there. We got away with murder there. Um, but Ashley Young, fantastic at left back. He was unbelievable today. You know, pushing forward, getting back as well. Now, Antonio Valencia was fantastic at right back. Smalling was fantastic. Ever since that red card against City, he was good. Rojo was uh, was steady, was decent. Uh, Carrick, another solid game. Uh, Herrera was pretty good. Um, uh, one Mata I thought was fantastic today. Fellaini was up and down, scored the goal, uh, gave away, you could say, that goal. Um, gave the ball a lot away today, Fellaini, but he's been in fantastic form this season. Uh, who else played? Oh, Wilson was fantastic. He had those lovely runs and should have scored that one. I mean, he took on about three players, but uh, could have scored it to Van Persie too. And uh, Van Persie didn't have his best of games. He gave the ball away a few too many times, but uh, played well. Played well in the sense that he made a few good runs, he had a few good shots, but... Unfortunately, he didn't score any goals, and it was good to see Radamau Falcao come off the bench, but unfortunately, didn't have much impact being there. He played for 10 minutes or so. But anyways, lads, that is the review for United against Stoke. Three points, four wins in a row now. First time in over a year, I think, ever since the first few games since Moisey took over. So, um, fair play to Louis Van Hal for getting those results. Now we look on to Southampton away, which is not going to be easy. I know City won there on the weekend, 3-0, but, you know, things didn't go Southampton's way. They had the red card. They were down to 10 men, so I don't think it's going to be easy. The second or third now on the table. So it's third versus fourth, which is going to be a massive game, and I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to that. Anyways, lads, this is the review. This was the review of United versus Stoke. If you've liked it, please leave it a thumbs up. Get your comments down below. Who was your man of the match? I'm gonna have to give it to... I have to give it to Ashley Young. He saved us, he literally saved us. Ashley Young, fantastic today. Man of the match, I'm your boy, Curtis Seven. If you're not following me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all those links are down in the description. I'm your boy, Curtis Seven. Take care, and peace.